Hello and welcome back to another video of UiPath RK. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to use regular expression in UiPath. So in UiPath, there are multiple opportunities where you have to use regular expressions to filter out some text out of the text. So regular expression is the best way to filter out the data and collect data from the, from the text. So in today's session, we will see two different ways to use regular expressions in UiPath. Then we will see UiPath example of filtering the email ID out of text, UiPath example of filtering out the mobile number from the text. And then we will see UiPath regular expression example to get text between two words. Sometimes you will have to extract the information after a word. So that example also we will see the like button if you like the content of this video and your feedback in the comment will definitely help me to improve and subscribe to the channel for the more and upcoming videos i already have this uipath project created and i will just get one sequence Control shift t uipath shortcut one sequence and then one assignment First of all, we will require a text. Control K, shortcut to create variable. Your text. And then let's, let's see the text from here itself. So I will be using same text which I have mentioned here. So you can access these regular expressions using this link also. All right. Let's get this text. Now, this we are trying the .NET programming way of using regular expression in UiPath. So, let's take one more assign activity. And here we have result. Okay. And we will be using regular expression class of the text class. So, regex expressions dot regex dot match if the requirement is to get only one result or to find one match then you can use the match if requirement is to find the multiple matches then you can use matches function okay and this function will take two arguments so let's let me show you so first will be the input string and the and then after that comma and then pattern so you have to give your regex pattern so we have our input string as your text comma now let's go here for the pattern and in this pattern, you can test this regular expression here itself. You can take this unit. So this regular expression is for getting the words between, between word. Okay, so you will understand when I will just do that. So the word between these two. So getting words between two words, you can use this regular expression from here. You can follow this link also. Okay, so this is our pattern. Okay, now dot value. That's it, we are done. So let's check the result in a log activity. Log message and result. Well. 
so you have the output as expected all right so this is one way of using regular expressions you can see this once again here now another way is using ui path match and matches activities so uh, let's do one thing i will delete this log message and let's and you can you can drag activities from here also so in ui path you have matches but if you need only one result you can use index so i will drag this here and you see it requires input string and it requires pattern two things and you will get the collection of result multiple results so this we will try on email id so we we will use the regular expression which match all the email ids in a text so this email id and you can see it is resulting it is returning two results one here and one here so let's use this text you can delete this one now you you might have you might have understood so far your text we will replace this text here with the new one okay and then we will use this pattern so in the matches activity what you have to first give input so what is the input here you you can press space you will get all the available variables list your text is the input and pattern we have already copied this is the pattern okay now okay and results all results now you can use a right line activity or like log active or ui path log activity whichever you are comfortable all results to string so this will return the first id first email id let's run and check so you have this email id you can check your text here So this is the pattern of regular expression for the email id which you can use in ui path or any other programming language also now if you want to have the second email id what you can do if you want to print all the email addresses you can loop through emails but here we have only two and i am printing one by one i hope you have the awareness of ui path for loop so we have the second email id all right hope you understood this one let's try one more and last example or you can have a look on this text file itself and you can save the screenshot and now this is the last example i will show you for the mobile number and it will match all the patterns of mobile number this is the regular string if you want to match any format of mobile numbers given so i have taken this example mobile number and these are the end digits so if you follow six digit or seven digit in your country you have to change this part only this one 
I hope you can see my cursor. And if you if it is without plus, it will come. If it is like nine one, then also it will come as one result. Okay, and if we are using nine one like this. Let's write this regular expression of matching mobile number in UI path. Okay, so you just have to change the pattern. Got it. Okay, so this is our text. Mobile number is here. Now let's change this to zero because we have only only one mobile number. All right. So input text pattern is supplied. Text we have now just run and see results. So if you see in the output, it has returned the mobile number. So this is how you can use regular expressions. Okay, now here you can, I can just show you the pattern one by one once again. This is the pattern to find the words between words. And this is the sample. You can access this from this link. And you can use this regular expression in UI path. So if you are trying to find, search all the email IDs, in UI path using the regular expression, then you can uh, you utilize this pattern and link is here. This is to get the words between words. So in UI path, in document understanding, data scrapping, and there are multiple operations where you have to find out words between the phrases. So if you want to use like unit sold, then you can use phrases also. Between phrases, you can find out, you can slice the string. So when you are doing string operations in UI path, or when you are trying to slice the string using regular expression, you can utilize this uh, regular expression. And many times in UI path, we extract the data from uh, web and we extract the data from invoices. And then we have to search for the email ID or the mobile number. So for mobile number, this is the best regular expression which you can utilize in UI path. And if you are trying to find out some text after the line, so, so let's say if you have a UI path project where you have to accept the text using UI path and uh, then you have to select line after one some line. So this is the line. After that, if you want to select new line, you can utilize this regular expression in UI path. All right, so that's it. And if you want to see the expressions here, you can take this screenshot. Thank you very much for your time. I hope this video was useful for you. For more and more videos on UI path and uh, Python automation, please subscribe to my channel. For give your feedback in comment. Your like will definitely help my channel to grow. Please forward the link uh, to your friends who want to learn UI path and who want to do the project. And all right. Thank you very much for your time.